Team ICE, a collaboration across academia and industry, has developed cryobiological tools that will advance the development and delivery of new medical treatments. We're all familiar with ICE. We use it to keep our drinks and food cool. ICE is also essential in research and medicine to stop biological material from degrading. Cryobiology is the study of the effects of sub-zero temperatures on living organisms and cells. Cryopreservation is the freezing of biological samples. Low temperatures dramatically slow down reactions, meaning cells and tissues can be preserved. This offers exciting potential in fertility treatment, transporting organs for transplants, specimen storage for biodiversity records and more. But it's not as simple as making ice cubes. Freezing can be fatal to living cells because ice crystals interfere with the essential functions of our cells. Being able to control exactly how and to what extent ice forms can greatly improve cryopreservation. Chemical interventions developed by the team stop cell damaging ice growth during thawing. Combining expertise across disciplines, polymer synthesis, biochemistry, computational chemistry, and experimental physical chemistry. The team has advanced our understanding of how ice forms and grows in biological contexts and how chemical approaches can be used to control ice growth in biological systems. This work opens new possibilities, particularly in relation to freezing cells. Some of the outcomes of this collaborative project are now being commercialized by Cryologix, a Warwick spin-out company. Team ICE's work will have real clinical impact, expanding possibilities in regenerative medicine and in animal-free toxicity testing of new drugs, ultimately improving patient outcomes.